Going off to college is an exciting time for young women as they get their first taste of independence. It can also be a time, though, of danger as sexual assaults continue to rise on college campuses. Joining me today is women's empowerment leader and author Sierra Bender. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. So glad to have you here this morning. This is uh, sometimes a subject that I don't think gets talked about enough. It is crucial. So uh, thanks for watching this morning. Thanks for being here. Let's dive into this. Let's talk sure. about the stats. How often are we talking about? I know you've done a lot of research looking into this, talking to women, talking to young girls. Right. Talk about the stats. So for doing this for 25 years and through my research, we have to first start with the first statistic is, is that one out of three women before the age of 18 are, are statistic of sexual assault and so abuse. That's even before they get to college. That's even before they get to college. Now that's horrific. So uh, that was the one age group I was missing was the, the college age. Mm -hmm. They're the most vulnerable. Um, and so when we look at when they first start to go off to college, the first three months of entry is at the highest rate yeah, of you rate. You say there's actually a period of time if you have young ones, uh, ladies starting college, there's a, a specific time where they're most vulnerable. Why is that? When is that? It's the first three months mm -hmm. because that's when rushes, Greek life is, sororities, fraternities, parties. Mm -hmm. You know, they're young, they're vulnerable, they're looking to network, looking for friends. Mm -hmm. You know, they come in alone, they're trying to find their tribe. And with all these parties, these young girls go in and now we have the situation of hurting mentality. So this hurting mentality is also called target rape. That these young men are preying on these young women when they come in they befriend them to, to think that they're their friend mm -hmm. and then they um, set up to place them alone bring them into a situation and then they so raise aren't just simply and i hate to even use the word accidents but they're intended i mean this is what kind of what your research has found that this is their intent this is the their intent it. and the hurting mentality is like what is this what makes men young men snap you mm -hmm. know when you take them by themselves they're totally different, but when they come together, mm -hmm. you know, this is a lot of research is being mm -hmm. done on this. Is it biological? Is it social? Is it media? What is it mm -hmm. that makes them just snap when they come into this mm -hmm. male hurting mentality? Yeah. So again, part of the process, you've done all this um, kind of research. You, you tour campuses uh, really all over the country mm -hmm. talking to young girls. What is it that you're able to help them? What are you finding? What are you listening to them and, and kind of picking up and figuring out sure. how do we stop this? Well, we have to educate them. It's not just about giving them information. You have to give them tools to set boundaries. How do I set boundaries through my voice, through my body language? I do a day of empowerment, and that's what I teach them. And it's also about the- Is it in one day or the class one, one day. day? They go all day long. We measure them what, from before they come in, how they feel afterwards. So um, what is empowerment? Mm -hmm. Empowerment means pulling forth what's already within them. So they already have the tools, but women are taught to be more submissive. I was going to say, what is the issue that you're finding that unfortunately is making this happen probably more than it should? I would say it's just, um, young women have to understand their worth. Mm -hmm. What are we worth as a woman? And, and leading from their own femininity, we're mm -hmm. so taught to be more in the patriarchal way, the male way, the corporate way. And that actually hurts and, hurts and mm -hmm. harms us. And so it's bringing women back into balance to say, this is what I mm -hmm. am as a woman. This is what I'm worth. This is what I bring to the table. Stop trying to be an imitation man. Mm -hmm. And well, in that's be people them. pleasers. I think Correct. that's what you know, we're kind Correct. of known for. So they feel, they feel, um, they don't know, you know, they feel guilty when they tell a boy no, or I have to be nice, I have to be kind. No, this is yeah. totally inappropriate. As parents are watching this morning, and I think this is a great time of year to have you on too, as you know, there's still a couple weeks before college, but what do you tell parents? What can parents do to help kind of, you know, facilitate this, you know, confidence that our girls need to have? Well, parents have more power than they think they do. You know, they, um, they have to look at the college, not just for what a demographic, academic reasons mm -hmm. is what does the college have to offer them to protect their child even the men mm -hmm. the young men you know these young men go in and they also get pulled into this hurting mentality and it's about educating giving them tips mm -hmm. so for instance nine out of ten times you know we think of the a rape as someone jumping out of a, out of right, a bush right yeah it's someone that they know mm. It's someone that this girl knows. So he becomes her friend, he walks her home. Do not be alone, even with your friend mm -hmm. if he's a male. You know, once alcohol gets involved, the tension change. I'm glad change. you brought that up because we talked about that uh, before the segment started. Mm -hmm. Alcohol plays a huge factor in this, I think. It impairs your judgment. Nine out of 10 cases, uh, 
mm -hmm. is, is from alcohol, and most don't report. Ugh. Well, what's your take home again as uh, parents are watching this morning? What would you tell them? That they need to get more involved and have a conversation with their child before they go off mm -hmm. to college, and they need to start confronting the colleges more about what to do about prevention and protection. Mm -hmm. Well, if people want to find out uh, more about you and your mission and how you can help, where would you send them? Thank you. Well, I just did a piece on this on my uh, Facebook mm -hmm. page if you want to know more on Sierra Bender and also SierraBender.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here this thank morning. You. Thank you for picking this up as your yeah. mission and uh, helping uh, other young uh, women out there. We appreciate it. Thank you for talking about it. We'll, uh, of course, put that uh, info on our website as well.